What are you doing? Is there something good in there? Is that why you're trying to eat it? Huh? Good bait in there? Probably a bad idea to recreate what may have happened. As you can see, this is previous damage. This is the Bass Pro Box by MTB, Mystery Tackle Box. Now, now Yaz is convinced that these are in fact toys. The story goes like this. I was expecting this on a certain day. The mail lady showed up, said she didn't have a package for me. So I left my dogs in the yard and I went to go try to shoot a bass video and I came back later with my tail between my tails because it was a really bad day, got skunked. It was like just like right after a bad storm and it was it was just horrible out there. But I didn't find this when I came home. She had lost this in the truck found it on the floor later after she spoke to me and late in the afternoon like you know after six when it was dark threw this over the fence <laughs> I rolled in around seven had no idea that my little dog you know had a toy thrown at him like this it must have landed in front of him and he's like hey someone on the other side of that fence wants to play fetch why don't they come over here this ain't no fun <laughs> how am I supposed to bring it back to you so he must have been out in the yard just tossing this around, chewing up the corners. And I come home and I have no idea. There's no, there's no way for me to know that she did what she did until I found this the next morning when we were getting up to go out. So, yeah, I mean, it hadn't been out there for too long, but there was a note on it that said uh, found on the floor or something. So, yeah, it was delivered at an unexpected hour. When I, I thought perhaps it just, you know, holiday seasons, I thought maybe it was late because of Christmas. So here it is. And now my little dog thinks that every time this comes over the fence, it's a rectangle ball. Without further ado, let's see what's in it. Now this is the Bass Pro Box, like I said before. This is my third box. I've been trying to do stuff with the first box, the second box, and they just, they've come at the damnedest time when, you know, weather or work or whatever reason, uh, I couldn't really do much with it. And when I did try to do much with it, for reasons that are connected to this box, it was really difficult. And All right, let's see what's in the box. Now I'm going to pull out the dibble. And look at the back and try to find. Let's go with this first. This is a uh, call. This is by Jinko Fishing. It is a trimmer, trimmer head. Looks kind of like a. It's an interesting jig head in there. We see the color of that bait. That's not going to work too well in my water. It's a little too bright. Clean water, clear water, on those days, that might work. Let's see, what is this? This is a Strike Pro Glider. The first bait I showed you retail for $5.99. This one retails for $11.59. See that? That is a pretty good looking... Uh, bait right there but it's a little too brightly colored for my dirty water so this little pile I will make here is the stuff that I don't have any faith in for my dirty water here in Louisiana and let's see got a package of yum Christy crawl look at those look at those little crawfish let's open these up see how they smell and pull one out now this particular package of bait I have a there we go I instantly have more faith in than the first two things I've pulled out 
it smells like plastic, but you see that? That would be really good Texas rig, drop shotted, or a Carolina rig. That will work for my dirty water. There's a, a lot of places where crawfish are the main forage, and that's a good color for the dirty water down there. So on this side, the good stuff. Where's that dibble at? All right, this is a the Baby Bite DR. Where are you on here? It's by Weston. Weston, here we go. It retails for $9.99. And the Yum package is a $2.99 retail. I don't know if I said before. See this? That would be really good up in Wisconsin, not Louisiana. Decent looking uh, bait there. Uh, what else we got here? Another hard bait. This is by Catchco. Death Stalker. What does that retail for? Five forty nine. Look at that. It's like a one of those fish spoon, fish spinner spoon things. Let's pull this out. This is kind of interesting. See that? Now, I'm going to put this over here on this side. Because of where I live, I have the advantage to fish uh, brackish water. You see how reflectively gold that is? That will catch redfish. Probably rat reds. But <clears throat> that will definitely catch red redfish. I don't know about bass. I mean, probably. But down here... That gold right there will work for me for redfish, not so much bass always. And then last bit of bait, and then there's some terminal tackle in here. This is by Makora. It's a shad tail. Let's see what this where are you on here? The 3D, it's by Lucky John actually. This uh, retails for $3.33. That is kind of on the fence. It's in the middle. That could work. It might not work. I and mean, it's kind of close. I'll put that over here anyway. It's kind of a natural color. And it goes from dark to light. And it's not like a... It's not like a bait you might see at a pride parade or something. It's not flashy. So, that's good. And then we have some uh, spring lock jig heads by Mustat. And those are probably, those are 225 for two jig heads. My goodness, we'll throw that over here. All right. It looks like we're split down the middle. You see, I got three baits over here that I can't really use in my local water to any effective, in any effectiveness. And then I've got three baits over here and terminal tackle that will or may work so here I am stuff that will work stuff that won't work each month there's stuff that will and stuff that won't and it just kind of packs up you end up with a lot of stuff you don't need and the other problem that I have noticed is some of the baits they send at certain times of the year don't necessarily work at that time of year. Like this time of year for bass, I'm thinking curly tails and tubes and stuff and uh, not necessarily brush hogs and things. And I want like uh, worms, sinkos and things of that nature. This, this isn't too far off base, but so there you go. Kind of a fun unboxing today. Hope it made sense. I think I want to cancel this subscription. At least this particular box. I think I'm going to get the panfish box. It's like 15 a month, whereas this is 24. I mean, it is kind of exciting each time the box comes to see what's in it because it's a mystery box. That's, that's what it is. But 
I may be able to use it. I may not. Uh, I might not be into bass fishing at the moment because I'm a mixed species guy. I I go for things that are seasonal or I just get a wild hair and I go for it. I'm not always bass fishing every week. You know, when these things have come the last couple of months, I've been getting it the last three months. Each time it's come, it's been right as a front is coming in. The weather's really bad, or I'm working a lot on some uh, some other thing, and it's just been inconvenient. Some of the baits have been good, some of the baits have been bad, but now I have a lot of baits that I just can't use here, and that takes away from the overall value of the box. They're they're not tailor made for where you're at. They're just boxes of stuff. Some of it could possibly be items that are on clearance that no one will buy. It could be items at work. It just, uh, it is what it is. It's kind of fun and then it gets old. So let's try another box. We'll do panfish for January. All right, see you next time.